Hi, my name is Yali Drach, and I'm doing this. This is Mor Bishut, my mother, Sarah Rivka Bat Menzel. Um, it is Ms. Mor Yudzain. So I'm, our our Tehillim starts off with the with the words Tefila the David. There are only five times in Tehillim that this word introduces a parak. In order to understand what Tefila is, I think we should look at the Shoresh and the, the Shoresh root of the word. So the shortest of the word is pilel, and this is usually involved in the act of judgment. So tefillah is a two-step process. First, the person should look at himself and see whether or not he should get reward or punishment. Only after this, which is step two, can he start to pray. Rav Hirsch points out that the word tefillah means judgment, and the verb is lehit palel, to judge oneself. So according to Rav Hirsch, the one... Um, one should realize that while he is praying, his worthiness is being judged. And this is why in the first pasuk, in the first pasuk we see David trying to do this. The Malbim says David is confident that his prayers will be answered since he has been checked. Uh, Alright, so we can break this more into three sections. Section one, which are Pesukim Aleph through Hay, which are Tfilah le David, Shema Hashem Sedek, Hakshiva Vinati, Hazina Tfilati, Below Sifte Mirma, Mefanecha Mishpati, Yitze, Enecha Techazena Mesharim, Pechanta Libi Pekata Talila, Sarftani Baltimsa, Zamoti Balia Vorpi, Lif Olot, Adam Bidivars Fatecha, Ani Shamarti Archot Paritz, Tamocha Shurai Bimagolo Techa, a tefillah by David. Hashem, hear my sincere thoughts, be attentive to my song, listen to my tefillah that is not from lips of deception. Let my judgment go out from before you, your eyes see uprightness. You have examined my heart, you have visited my day, by night, you have tested me and found no hypocrisy. My thoughts did not contradict the words of my mouth. When the actions of man have been against the word of your lips, I have guarded against the ways of the offender. Support my steps in your pathways so that my feet my feet do not trip. So we can categorize categorize this as David's plea to be heard, his introduction. So section two is Psukim Vav to your bed, and this is his plea for protection from his enemies. Um so I call to you because you will answer me. O oh God, incline your ear to me. Hear my words. Exercise your kindness in a special way to save with your right hand those who seek refuge from aggressors. Guard me like the apple of the eye. Shelter me Shelter me in the shadow of your wings. From, the, from those of Sha'im who rob me, my mortal enemies who encircle me. They have covered their heart with their fat. Their mouths speak with arrogance. Our steps... Seeing our steps, they immediately surround us. They cast their eyes to spread over the land. He is like a lion longing for prey and like a young lion lurking in concealment. And this brings us to the third part, which is which is David's plea for life. And this is Pesukim Yud Gemel through Tevav. And we see that he's praying for the opportunity to do Teshuvah and a plea to have a chilek in Olam Haba. So that is... Kuma Hashem Kadma Panav Hachriehu Palta Nafshi Mirasha Harbacha. Mim Tim Yatra Hashem, Mim Tim Yachelet Halkam Bechaim, Utsmuchat Male Bitnam. Yes, um, Yispeu Banim Vehinihu Yidram Lelehem, Ani Basedek Echaze Panecha, Espaab Hakit Spunatacha. Rise up, Hashem, confront him, and bring him to his knees. Rescue my soul from the Rasha, um, who is acting as your sword. Hashem, let me be from among those who die by your hand, who die of old age, whose portion is eternal life. 
With your hidden reward, you fill their stomach. They are granted sons, and they bequeath their abundance of their children. For my righteousness, let me behold your face upon awakening in the world to come. I will be gratified to behold your image. So we learn so many lessons from this Ms. Moore. Um, we learn the idea of being sincere from the Pasuk. Um, from the first pasuk, below and also from Teraftani Baltim Saz Moti We learn also that we should be confident. We should be confident that if we have done right, Hashem will listen to our tefillah. So, and this this is what he says, Ani Karaticha Kita Neni Kel. And there's much more. But I really wanted to what I really understood from this Mizmor, um, and the lesson that I will take that I will take with me always is that Hashem is always with us, no matter what. But Tasti God is surrounding me, protecting me always, especially now. Thank you. Love you, Mom.